So, you want to seduce that older woman, huh? You want to go to Mrs. Robinson's house and uh, clean that pool? I hear you, I get it. Something about the way she moves, something about the experience that comes with an older woman. Well, if you want to know how to seduce her, and I mean really seduce her, then you are in the right place because I'm going to go over my seven key techniques on how to seduce an older woman. And a little bit of hint, none of them mean anything without the seventh one. We'll see what I'm talking about in a bit, all right? Let's do this. Hey guys, Jared Psych Lawrence here, founder of Modern Flirting, and in this video, we are going to deep dive into my seven deadly sins, no, seven deadly techniques on how to seduce older women. And I only, I'm surprised I'm even giving these away. These are stuff, this goes really, really almost like a little bit dark here, okay? So I am going to spill the beans. I have almost never talked on this, but for the first time, I'm gonna share them with you. And once again, I'm gonna give you the first six Without the seventh one, they're all pretty meaningless. That's the number one one. You, you gotta know the seventh one, all right? So, without ado, let's get started. Number one, the age tease, all right? When you are seducing uh, an older woman, she's always going to tease you for being younger than her. Now look, I'm 35 right now, and my preferred age range is pretty much like 24 to 28. That's really where I like to play around with. I've dated older women in their 30s, I've dated you know younger, uh, but that's where I like to be. Here's the thing though, I've always liked that age range, even when I was 20. So I remember being 20 years old, 21, talking to this 25 year old, and she would just hit roadblocks. I'd be funny, I'd be charming, I'd be awesome, I'd do all this stuff, and you go, yeah, but you're 21, I'm 25, so suck it. Sorry, not interested. I kid you not, it is a million times easier to hook up or date or get with a girl who's 20 or 21 at 35 with a massive age gap than it is to be 21, trying to go with four years different to go with 25. It is insanely easy to date down versus to date up. So all my young bucks out there, I get it, brother, I get it. I will say, when you're in your 30s, when you're trying to date a girl a little bit older than you, uh, in your 30s or 40s, it gets a little easier. It's not that much big of a deal, okay? But either way, regardless of where you're at, when you're trying to date a girl who's a little bit more experienced than you, they're always gonna tease you for being younger. They're going to let you feel, that, you know, and they're gonna poke insecurities. Oh, you're a baby. Oh, you, 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 you. Oh, like, I don't know if you can hang with me. Sorry, the grown-ups are talking, okay? You gotta be able to banter back. If she does this, now again, I don't want you to tease her on her age if she doesn't bring it up. All right, so do not do this. Warning, 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 warning. Do not do this if she doesn't start the banter first. But if she does, I want you armed. I want you ready to go. You know, gun cock, let's do this. Because here's the thing, you have to have the mindset of you're not too young, she's too old. Okay, so that means you're gonna be saying, look, I get it, if we're going to the bar, I'll order you in, sure. I know what you girls like, I, I, you know, you're, hey, I will get you home in time for the early bird special, don't you worry. Don't you worry. If your birthday's coming up, I got a walker that my grandma you know, was using, I can, I can give it to you as a gift, I'm, I'm here, I'm for you, all right? Use these, play with these, make, use the grandma jokes, even if she's just a year older than you, because you need to show her you're confident, you're secure with your age, that I'm the right age, you're just a little bit older, but I'll overlook that, it's okay. I'm not too young, you're too old, all right? That is the mindset you have to have, especially when she starts that objection, that process going on. So it's basically like a sales call. It's like how to handle objections, tease her when she brings it up for being a little bit too old out of your age range. Another one I like is she goes, yeah, but look, you're 21 or 22 or whatever you are, and I'm 25, 26, it doesn't work. I'm like. I get that, especially because 25 for you is like, what, 52 in guy years? That's, that's hard, I know. But here's the thing, I, I'm willing to, you know, I'm willing to overlook that and make it work anyways, all right? You have to be a little bit cocky about it. All right, number two, you're gonna date an older girl. What they always want, when you ask any girl, look, why do you wanna date this older guy? This guy's 10 years older than you. What does he have? Why is this attractive to you? Without fail, they always say the same thing, and that is, he's so mature. You know, guys my age are immature. The high school girl, high school boys are mature. I want a college guy. College girls, college men are insecure. I want an older guy. Girls out of college, guys in their 20s are just immature. I just want a guy in his 30s. 
It's always this feeling of maturity. And really what this comes down to is a lifestyle a little bit above their means. So what that means is you know, the college girl, want, the high school girl wants to get into college parties. The college girl in the college parties wants to go to the clubs. The girl in the clubs wants to go to the extravagant events. The girls at extravagant events, now she's like, I wanna do more homey events. I wanna do like the mature things and travel the world and whatever that is. So you want to ideally double down your lifestyle where it's matching what she's kind of expecting. And you have to also hold that kind of maturity when you're around her. That means I'm sorry, yes, you've got the perfect fart joke, I know, but maybe just let it pass, pun intended, all right? Number three, this is just a little fun uh, sound bite because when you're showing her like, look, I'm mature, I have an interesting lifestyle that you might wanna be a part of, and she goes, yeah, but again, you're just a little bit too young, here's a great sound bite for you know, number three that you can use on, on these women that let them know, look, yes, I'm young, but I'm still what you're looking for. And it was my favorite sound bite, and every time I, uh, every time I said it with conviction, uh, every older girl would just give me one of the, oh, like, Mmm, right, it, it, it always hit. So I, I remembered it just for this video and I wanna give it to you guys, I'll share with you now. Listen, I get it, but here's the thing. I'm old enough to know what I'm doing, but young enough to do it right. That's your sound bite. I'm old enough to know, and she goes, wait, but how old are you? Aren't you a baby? All I know is I'm old enough to know exactly what I'm doing and young enough to do it right. That's not what you're looking for, I don't know what to tell you, right? That's the attitude, that's a mindset you have to have where you're like, you're a little bit older, don't you want that young buck? Especially if there's a bigger age gap. If you're, let's say, 25, 26, and she's 35, 36, or 40, or whatever, uh, you really wanna play with that frame of, yeah, you can get with these older guys, but I, I, I don't know, maybe I thought you might want a guy who doesn't have saggy balls, you know? You might want a guy who actually, you know, can stay out and make you feel youthful again. Because you still seem young at heart and you have, you have a youthful energy, Mrs. Robinson. And I'm an old soul, so I feel like, we, I feel like we're just right there, right? That's kind of the frame of mind that you wanna have with that soundbite. Number four a challenge. When a girl's older than you, she's gonna feel that you're gonna be a pushover. You're gonna, she can walk all over you. You don't know what you're doing. You're just a baby. So it's important that you're not showing her a lot of interest right up front, even more so than the typical woman, and present yourself as a challenge. You want to stimulate her. You want to make her reassess her early judgment of you that you don't know what you're doing. You're an experience, you're a baby, right? No. I'm actually gonna mess with you because I'm not just giving in that way. I'm gonna make you work for it a little bit, okay? Don't go too crazy with that concept, but understand it is an important one. You have to have that element, especially when you're dealing with older women. Number five, the vibe, all right? Older men carry themselves a different way. Younger guys, they, they wanna play, you know, frat boy, yeah, doing it together, right? If she's an older woman, she's beyond that. And here's the thing. If you're presenting that frame, if your vibe matches it, you can say all you want, you can you know, tease her and whatever. She knows you're a baby, she knows you're a youngin'. So here's what you do. An easy way to change a vibe is just change a fashion. Get rid of those Adidas shoes, forget the you know, big baggy t-shirt with the cool thing, man, you know, I got my backwards cap, bro, like whatever, okay? Look at the way a guy dresses who's maybe 10 years older than you and match that fashion, match that vibe. This is again, you don't have to do this, but if you're looking for that older woman, that's who she's looking at. She's not looking at the guys younger, she's looking at the guys older. You can study them, befriend them, see how they carry themselves, how they talk, and really try to match that vibe. So she almost, if you do this right, she should literally forget that you're younger than her. She should be like, she should like comment on her, like, wait a minute, aren't you like, Five years younger than me? You don't seem it. You seem so, You have, don't think this the wrong way, but you seem so old for your age. You're like, yeah, I'm an old soul. What can I say? I just move on. Forget about it. Keep vibing as an older man, as a, as a mature man, to the point that she literally forgets that you are younger than her. It, that, it's, it's, it's the closest thing you can do to a Jedi mind trick, all right? Number six, exits. Now. Again, maybe a little bit of a warning label right there. But with the exes, you know you normally never want to bring up your exes. It's not a good conversation, just like politics and religion and gross stuff and you know the current state of the economy. I don't know. There's certain things you don't want to talk about, and exes is definitely one of them. However, however, we're gonna go a little bit advanced here, and 
With X's, you can actually set a really powerful frame early on by talking about your X's. Now you're probably thinking, but why, why would I do that? It's, it's a bad topic and I'm gonna hear about her X's and da, da, da. Well, there's a strategy here called pre-setting. And what that means is you're going to talk to the girl or pre-framing and you're going to talk to the girl and say, I've dated women, my last ex was older than you. Now, this might be a lie and I'm, and I'm all for telling the truth. I'm not for lying, I get it. But this is kind of a fib, all right? This is like a little bit of a white lie because it is a, very important for her to realize or her to get that feeling that you know what you're doing with an older woman, all right? She's not the first. She doesn't have to show you the ropes. She doesn't have to teach you things. So if you've really never dated an older woman, okay, fine. You don't have to, you don't have to use that one, but it does make the girl feel so much more comfortable when you can kind of, you know, subtly throw in there that, yeah, you're not even the oldest girl I've ever dated. I, my, my ex was two years older than you. Just like casually throw that in. So I don't know why you're, you know, getting all bent out of shape over this because this is nothing new for me, right? When she hears that and she realizes, oh, women my age dated before they want you? Well then, that kind of changes things. Maybe you do know what you're doing. Maybe you are experienced enough. Maybe you do live that lifestyle that I can be a part, right? It's, it's subtle, it's small, but it does change the, the vibe that's going on there. So use that uh, as you will. And finally, I promised you, I guaranteed you that I would give you the seventh uh, technique that's gonna wrap them all together. And number seven is confidence. I know, that's kind of an end all be all, that's kind of a cliche, just be confident, just be confident. Here's the thing, none of these techniques work at all without almost an extra level of confidence. Because you're not just being confident in the sense of, yeah, I'm just a confident guy, I'm gonna do what I'm doing. The reason women get with older men is because they can lead them places. They know what they're doing. Women want to kind of be taught in a way from the older guy. They don't want to do the teaching. They don't want to have to lead. They don't want to be the one who has the experience. They want to live the experience. They want a guy who can lead them through that. What you have to show her at all points is that you're confident enough to do that for her, that she does not intimidate you, that you do know how to lead her forward perfectly. Even if inside you're shaking, you're like, oh God, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm a virgin or whatever the case might be. You can't project that. If the moment you show her, I don't know how to lead this, I'm not confident in this because I'm hoping you'll teach me how to talk to girls and what to do, you're done. And this is doubly important for sexual confidence as well, all right? If, you know, things get flirty and you're like, oh, I'm not experienced, I, I, you know, you, you get like nervous, you get the little, uh, the little shakes or whatever, and you don't know how to build up that sexual tension, how to escalate, how to lead that, you know, that vibe forward, you're done. You've lost it, you're like, she's gonna be like, this is exactly what I was afraid of. I don't wanna feel that I'm the one doing the teaching and know what's going on, and I've gotta show him the ropes. I want a guy, I want the prize, women want the prize who's gonna show them the ropes, who's gonna take them on that magic carpet ride, right? So, this comes down to, you know, fake it till you make it, if need be, but at the end of the day, if you don't have pure confidence in what you're doing, and including sexual confidence, nothing's gonna work out. So you really have to dial that in and hold that frame. And the best way to hold that frame, the best way to develop that confidence is through practice. It's through going out and doing this again and again and again and again. And if you're looking for that practice and how to do that correctly, well, you're in luck because I got you, all right? In the description below, there is a guide on how to you know, approach and attract beautiful women even if you have massive approach anxiety and you have no idea what to say. All right, we're gonna start from the ground up to help all, and even if you're advanced, I guarantee there's some great pointers in there uh, for you as well. I got my advanced boys also. So here's what you gotta do. Go into the description below, click the link, get the free training, try it out, and start your journey and start your process so you can go approach and meet those older women. And if you're still running into issues, well, again, you're in luck because look, we can do a free one-on-one -on -one session where I will hop on a call with you and we can discuss these you know, problems and see if maybe there's more we can do together. Maybe modern flirting can help you get those older women or get that dream girl they're looking for, all right? That link is in the description below as well. And if you haven't liked or haven't subscribed to my channel, then I don't know what you're doing because you are gonna find so many gold nuggets. I got videos on, on escalation and abundance and everything. Just go check it out, see for yourself!